Grand Rising Loves, this is the altar spread for the collective today. So the sacred geometry that showed up for today is out beyond Orion. It showed up in the reverse. So this is all about time, the holographic of time, that time is actually a human construct. And so in order to move past those constructs of time, you have to know that what happens comes from beyond that space, that creation of time. <clears throat> but showing up in the reverse is reminding you that you have let that get away from you and more than likely feeling like you're not having enough time or that you're constantly in a race with time, feeling rushed, feeling like you're always late and having real issues around this. And so there's that saying, you know, time flies when you're having fun. And the whole point of that is that when you are having fun, when you are in a state of joy, you stay present. You're not time traveling to the past or the future. You're in the now. You're in the constant now. And because your vibration rises in that state, you seemingly lose time because you're no longer held by those constraints of time. Time is a vibrational thing. It's, it's not real. It's a concept. And so if you do something that brings you joy, do more of what brings you joy, and staying present, it teaches you to stay present. And then you're no longer held by that same feel, that heaviness, that density. Now the arrow showed up, and I love this. The arrow is an affirmation that you're aligned, that you're on target and everything is going to be revealed in the moment. It's inviting you to pay attention that you are about to make your mark on life. And I love this, that this showed up. This is very poignant for me because I've been called by spirit lately to really not edit myself and to be in my highest integrity and even though I have always done that I have still on some level kept myself in the state of appeasing others I am very heart-centered and compassionate but still always operating from a space of how will this make them feel already expecting what someone would think about my next move instead of just making that move directed by spirit. But as of late, I've been making those moves, honoring spirit, honoring that integrity and that heart openness, being in full surrender. And it has really pressed on those that are around me. Even those that um, had always professed they loved me most. And so I feel like it's shaking the foundation of all of that. My closest friends, family, and I'm losing them because they're not at my level of understanding. And so on some level they think I am not heart-centered or in my integrity because they can't understand what it is that I'm doing. And it's just because the child can't see the cookie on the counter, if that makes sense. But I'm very gracious and in full gratitude in this moment to spirit for this message, this affirmation, this validation, and I will remain steadfast in that. 
The stone that showed up today is Convergence, this cross stone. It's a very protective stone. And this has shown up for us before, but I love storm stones, of course, because they stimulate all the chakras. So this is very powerful stone, but this is calling for the same message, to look at the bigger picture and to really pay attention to the programming and judgments that you are holding against others and to really shake your own foundation of judgment. Are you making judgments about something that you see, something that you hear, instead of feeling? When you open your heart, it clarifies everything. And so the message of Chiastale is to look at the big picture and bring understanding to yourself and know that everything has its purpose and that everything you experience is valuable. And I am so grateful for this message too. And then this is bringing the same message uh, in yet a different way. Kantar Yachak has shown up for us before. It's the blessing of the son of Hanapacha. It's all about the condor the story of the condor. So the condor was near extinct and has come back through its own resilience. And so this is the message of even though you feel like you are facing inevitable, inevitable destruction, to have faith. And if you really are guided by spirit and your divine path, if you're in that alignment, there is nothing that can thwart that path nothing can thwart that path no virus no disease no strong arm no mass destruction no natural disaster if you are aligned you are divinely protected And so, again, I would like to um, use the prayer of this card to close out my card spread. So if you can just shake out your shoulders, take a deep collective breath, fill the entire lobes of the lungs and release with an audible sigh. <sighs> Close your eyes and stay connected to my voice. Through unconditional love and in service to the universal sacred heart, I invoke the prophecy of the eagle and condor that the opposites shall fly together in harmony once more and divine presence shall fill the earth and bless all of her children. The destiny of this world is to be love's paradise. Placing your hand on your heart. Yeshua, Condor, Christ, loving friend of my soul, you cover me with your feathers. Under your wings I find refuge. Your divine perfection casts off fear and doubt, and through the invisible inner workings of great spirit, all is brought into correct order now. May all beings thrive within the grace of great spirit. May all divine destinies be fulfilled. Through my own free will, so be it. Oh.